In one sense, the inner workings of a lithium-ion battery are pretty simple. The operation of a lithium-ion battery is really lithium ions moving back and forth between, so sort of hopping back and forth or shuttling back and forth between this positive electrode and this negative electrode. And when they move back and forth is when you're able to either power your device, when they're moving from the negative electrode to the positive electrode, or when you're charging your battery, you're taking them out of the positive and putting them in the negative. UC San Diego professor Kent Griffith tells us that movement of ions and electrons inside the battery determines how long your charge is going to last and how long the battery itself will survive. Here's one rule. Don't keep your battery plugged in and fully charged for a long time. When it's 100% charged, that's the worst case for a battery because that's when degradation happens the fastest. A good example is a portable computer or laptop that's constantly plugged in. Its battery is always fully charged, so it'll wear out really fast. Another rule, lithium batteries degrade quickly when they're hot. So if you can avoid your battery being at 100% state of charge and you can avoid it um, being hot, say sitting on the dashboard of a car in the sun, um, those will really improve the longevity of your device. One more tip on how to lengthen your battery's charge. When you're traveling long distances, lock onto a moving Wi-Fi signal or put your cell phone on airplane mode. If it doesn't have a strong signal and it's trying to find one, such as if you are actually <laughs> flying on an airplane, then it's going to work really hard and it's going to drain the battery quickly. To, and it's a futile exercise, right? There's not going to be a signal to be found um, from a, a normal uh, cell phone tower. Griffith's scientific work focuses on trying to find ways for batteries to work better. So this is our uh, battery laboratory. So here In his battery lab, you find materials and tools, like a glove box that you can use to assemble materials in a dry, low-oxygen environment. Lithium can ignite when exposed to normal air. He says for now, nothing beats the lithium ion technology. And let's get you know one thing sort of straight. I mean, lithium ion is the best technology that, that we have, right? That's why it is almost universally used in terms of how much energy it can store. So lithium ion works really well. But lithium is a limited resource that has to be mined. One thing Griffith is investigating is the possibility of creating sodium ion batteries. So if we could make the switch to sodium ion batteries, we wouldn't have to ever worry about running out of sodium. Um, so there's a, a sustainability aspect to it, and there's also potentially a cost aspect to it. So lithium is far more expensive than sodium. But for now, lithium ion is the standard. So let your cell phone or laptop run down and be recharged, and don't leave it too long in the sun. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.